Apparently, the Emmys took place last night. Yet another event where celebrities walk about without their mask, pose in their expensive dresses and suits, and basically say, uh, do as I say, not as I do. And a lot of funny things happen at this Emmys. Uh, they had a so white situation, an Emmy so white situation, because, you know, not enough, not enough POCs won certain awards. And, and then you had uh, John Oliver, who won an Emmy, talking about he was rooting for Conan, even though Conan recently talked about how the mainstream that John Oliver adheres to tried to cancel a Norm McDonald appearance. Uh, Norm McDonald, who are now trying to pretend like uh, they loved and supported him. You know, they didn't support people like Norm McDonald, especially when he was legitimately calling any and everyone out. But one of the main things that happened during these uh, during these Emmy Awards was they showcase who gets to represent so-called black artists by making RuPaul make history with the most wins by a black artist. <laughs> and, you know, and that just sums up and showcases what Hollywood chooses to represent so-called black artists or black celebrities as, and generally black people. They're setting up the RuPaul's of the world to be the peak representatives of black artistry in entertainment. Just goes to show you once again, people who abide by or adhere to all of this woke bullshit, whether they be within the Hollywood industry or outside of it, they adhere to it, but they adhere to it as a call at a cost. And that one of the main costs is that they have to bow down at the history of people like RuPaul. <laughs> like, it's fucking pathetic. You know, and that's why I view them as fucking pathetic. The people who call themselves a Black Lives Matter or any of that other social political bullshit. Because I understand what the hierarchy is. And, of course, during the Emmys, they made a bunch of other political statements, social political statements, a.k.a. communist Marxist propaganda. You know, they highlighted the poor women of Texas who have to be forced and suffer bearing a child because they don't get to kill it when they hear the heartbeat. And then, of course, they acknowledge Afghanistan. And we know how much they like to compare Texas in America to fucking Afghanistan. Just a, a bunch of bullshit. Sums up why people don't even watch this shit anymore. <laughs> but anyway, white actors swept the 2020 21 Emmy Award, so you know clearly these white people aren't bowing down to the cause enough because Emmy so white hashtag or trended I should say. But yeah, just a bunch of bullshit that occurred during these Emmys and doesn't matter who wins, who gets nominated because they're all fucking pieces of shit that don't deserve a platform and don't deserve especially to be supported. But can't say nothing to people who deify these folks. <laughs>